Here's North Korea's number one television personality, Norm McDonald. Well, this is the night that we have all been waiting for. The night when we find out who is awarded the Mark Twain Prize. <laughs> the decision, ladies and gentlemen, lies with you. But before you reach for that voting lever under your seat, please hear me out. Both nominees are fine men, but only one can win. Will it be David Letterman, whom this prestigious award was seemingly created to honor, a man whose gifts to the world of comedy rival even Twain himself? Or will it be Dikembe Mutombo? <laughs> In the pantheon of comedy, the idea David Letterman and Dikembe Mutombo would even reside in the same sentence. It's preposterous. I mean, Mr. Letterman reinvented the late night talk show. Mr. Letterman deconstructed television itself. Mr. Mutombo blocked basketball shots. I mean, am I missing something here? I'll say it plain. Mark Twain was a humorist. David Letterman is a humorist. Sure, Dikembe Mutombo was the NBA's greatest defensive player, but since when did this qualify as comedy? <laughs> I mean, I keep waiting for somebody to come out here and tell me this is all some sort of joke. <laughs> I saw a wild look of alarm. <laughs> Scan your eyes. Well, I hope I have made my case. And all I can ask now is that you vote your conscience. Number five, Norm MacDonald. Mark Twain was considered a highly entertaining public speaker. God, what a handsome guy, seriously. And oh my, Norm MacDonald, wouldn't you, um, wouldn't you like to drive across country with Norm MacDonald? <laughs> Steve Martin.